Hey, welcome to Alan's Woodworking. I'm Alan. Today we are going to discuss a program called FreeCAD. This is a, a 3D drafting program and uh, as you can see in the picture here, this is something that we put together. We uh, thought you might be interested in this. Uh, a lot of drafters out there and a lot of woodworkers especially that would like something that they can build build on or design their product while sitting in the house and then maybe one day when they get out of the shed they can make it so anyway FreeCAD is an open source program open source means it's free to the public so uh, I think you'll really like this program and the thing I like about all your 3D programs is that once you draw it you can sit there and look around and see the underside of it you know you can actually see details if depending on how detailed you drew it like right there's a little screw you know so and there's a lot of things you can just do with this uh, I think you will really get uh, a big kick out of it it's fun to play with uh, and it's functional um, most of the time when I draw something out the only thing you're gonna see is numbers and that's because I just need the dimensions of uh, the size I'm doing but it's fun to play with uh, I just want to show you a little something about it, see if something you're going to be interested with. What you're seeing right now is all these marks as for all the stuff that FreeCAD can do. But for now, we're just going to go into parts. We're just going to work on what they call primitives. Okay, primitives is these little solids up here. Okay, different shapes. Okay, and you can click on one of these and punch in the size that you want that shape to be, and bam, there it is. Then you can come over here. You can chafer it, you can round the edges, like this right here was just a square, and I went over here and rounded, well, on this button right here, and rounded the edges off, and that's how I got that shape. So if we look at that a little bit, uh, it's just a great program. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, you can do just about anything you want to with it. Now the solids, which I drew this up with, is, uh, I don't know, it's not that bad. It's a little restrictive on some of the detail work but you can drew a 2d drawing and convert it into a 3d so we'll get into that later but right now we're just talking about the primitives uh, this is just one of the things we made uh, you can put it on a rotation just to sit there and watch it turn around in circles if that's what you want to do you know if you're just sitting there looking at it trying to get an idea uh, you can put it in any direction you want so like I say if I just want a top view side view the other side view or back view bottom view you know you can just do anything you want to with it and you can get fairly detailed with this if you'll look uh, the fence I got on this right here and then there's another piece that goes on top so let's move this down that way you can kind of see what I'm talking about see it shows another piece on top and you can even get the dimensions of this piece and you, you know it's just uh fun to play with and uh, if you're working in wood you can build things other than just what I drew here for an example here's a fishing rod holder well, I just threw this together one evening uh, I haven't built this but I thought maybe one day I might uh, so while I was thinking about it I put it on paper or actually put it on the drawing and uh, I built it to scale so so let's say six months from now when I want to come back and build it and I couldn't remember what I was thinking the measurements were I can just pop up here or right here measure that to there and there it is 60 inches uh, so you know by drawing it to scale you can you can do a whole lot so it's a uh, you know it's just a great program to have I think you'll enjoy it you can clear that close it out here's another one it's a garage workbench uh, you can see where I've drew from the underside now the thing I like about this this is really neat let's say if you look at this part now it really don't help you much but now if you take that part and go over here and uh, whoops wrong way I can pull that part out away from what it what it was at as you see right here now I can get me a different angle on it and let's say if I drew this to scale I wanted to know what dimensions that was so I can click there hit this point and this whoops I didn't hit the point, it just hit me the edge. So let's clear that and try that again. Let's see here, let's go from that point. I want I just want the point there. Out to that point. It's thirty-one inches from point to point, the long ends. 
so that tells me what what I'm looking at uh, it's pretty neat I mean so and then when you're done with it I mean if you want to clear it put it back click on it again and then remove or put it back in its home area you know so I can move it back in and it's right back where it needs to be so that's that's pretty good I like that you know you can look up and see the top now if I want to take the top off I can take the top off I can pull this around zoom it up hit the top come down here let's see here let's take this off now I can see my uh, frame and like I said if I wanted to go my frame and let's say if I wanted to uh, let's try this a different angle here let's go like that and then bring it down let's say if I wanted to know the distance that I estimated that should have been again you hit your measurements now if I want to know what the center of this I hit the inside of this one to the outside of that one 23 and a half inches now if you go center to center that's what it would be so let's clear that and use another measurement let's say if I was making here and I want to know what to go by the or the put the next one at 25.5 from outside to outside so it helps you lay it out if you forgot it's a great way of keeping something in your mind uh, let's see here here's another country island I built actually the we built this one and we built that other workbench but this in here was built with actual uh, barley twist legs I didn't want to get into drawing that so I just put square legs on it but it's a uh, slat drawers I left this one open where you can see the drawer and how this attached uh, got a slat bottom just a regular top but then again like I said if you wanted to pull it in and out there it is uh, just click on it go over here and find your axis now over here in the right hand corner you can see Z Y and X these are what they call axis so that would mean whatever arrow that Z is facing in or the Y or the X is facing in is what direction this is going to go in if you hit it. So say if I wanted to push it back in where it's at, that would be the Y. I'm in the Y. So I just press that and it'll send it right back in where it's supposed to be. And it's closed. See? Pretty neat. And say if you wanted to see more detail on that, I'll just put it on the Y again and bring him out. See, we just bring it on out here like that. And then we'll take and turn it over on this edge, and you can see how I made that. I want to zoom up a little bit. So, ah, okay, I see you there. Uh, put a little dado in there. Run me another board in. Slats went on top, but flush to the top, or maybe a little angle or a little uh, lip on it to keep anything coming off. And that's how that was built. So that, that, that was pretty neat, you know. So now, then again, if I wanted to size, just go over here. See what size was that that I know? 39 inches. Okay, so that was pretty neat. Uh, just how wide is this little thing here? So let's go on the outside. The outside, 20.5 inches. Now that's the dimensions that'll go from the inside of here. So you know you like that. Now of course, if you wanted to make your measurement stay permanently, this one right here would erase as soon as you turn the program off. You can come up here and hit find that little tape measure right there you can hit that and measure from there to there and that there will stay that is now considered part of the drawing it will always stay there matter of fact you can see it right here it has the distance wrote down so that would not go away so if you close out the program and come back that was going to be in there of course it is kind of in the way as far as I'm concerned uh, you can move it around go over here and hit that again and so I mean it's just a great little program to have so if you've never fooled with it give it a shot tell us what you think of it uh, we're gonna make a blog page or this is a blog page so just go to the bottom leave a comment uh, and if there's something you'd like to see or learn on it let me know if I can't do it I'll uh, try to find some videos or something from you somewhere else that uh, can help you uh, right now I just want to show you what I mean about the solids okay so we're gonna go up here and we're gonna get a square now you click on this square and that square automatically the axis all be zero position okay because that's a, that's its home area and there's the dimensions of it 0.39 inches so 
even if you left it the way it is or write in whatever dimensions you want let's say if you want a one inch by one inch square or a two foot by two foot or a ten foot by ten foot you can do that you know you just shrink it down to fit so now you did that let's say if you want to add something else to it well let's go ahead and add a cylinder to it okay now the cylinder comes in part way now you can move this out just by moving that uh, placement position and hit up down back forth whatever you want you can hit the radius and make this bigger now let's say if you wanted this square to have a little cutout just like that same as that radius right there right how would you do that all you gotta do is hit that square hit central alt hit the radius and then hit cut this little button right here and now you have a square with a chunk out of it and that's how you work around radiuses so if you want to make that different shapes you can now let's say uh, we tried that and it come out to cut let's go ahead and delete that part and get our square back now say you want to do this and say if you went through and made it a certain shape and you didn't want and you wanted on all four corners but you didn't want to have to go back and remake this whole thing okay you just go in here go up here to uh, edit duplicate section now come down here be a cylinder one placement now which direction you want to go do I want to go this corner that corner so let's go to the X let's, let's hit our Y axis and uh, or is that the Y that uh, either one we can go our Y axis X axis it don't really matter and uh, which way am I going here why is it not working am I doing something wrong oh I forgot to click it there we go I was clicking something else I just messed up something <laughs> okay let's go there move that over where I can get to it ah shoot I know what it is okay I forgot Another thing you got to do anytime you uh, punch in anything under zero or under one inch, you got to put 0 0.35. And see, it moved it down there. Now I just moved that back. But anyway, that's how you would do that. Okay. Uh, there's the other cylinder up there. I forgot about that. So anytime you do is uh, under anything under an inch, you always have to go 0 point okay if you forget that it's going to send it off in another direction however many inches you put and we're only looking at uh, a little over or a little under a half inch for the whole square so anyway it's just fun to play with you know sometimes you I get it backwards and uh, but I think you'll enjoy this leave a comment down below share with your friends if you like it uh, and if you're on YouTube and seeing this, come visit us at our website at Allen's at Allen's Woodwork, or email me at allens, allenswoodworking.com if you want any more information. And thank you for watching.